Hi guys, so I've just come back from a meal with my friends and I thought now would be the perfect time to do this. Leave in two days. So here we go. It's a what's in my bag video. <laughs> um, excuse the quality. This is on my phone it's front camera. I'm not really sure what the best way to record this is, but let's go. So I've decided to go with a Fairview Osprey 40. Um, I've gone for the newer model purely because of the colour, um, which probably is, isn't how you should decide, but it is still good. I they did almost get the, the old model, but yeah. I'll we'll go through the pros and cons of the bag later. So in my bag, I've got two packing cubes so this is for my tops and my dresses and these are for my shorts and my trousers one pair of trousers um then i've got my slippers sandals whatever um and then maybe i'll bring these but i'm not sure i am under the weight right now but maybe these too i do have trainers but i'll be wearing them on the plane and I've decided to go for these North Face ones, which are also supposed to be for hiking, so I can do a bit of both. Um, they took me a while to find, I didn't know what shoes to get. And I've got three sports bras, I've got these. Um, like a more supportive one, and another one. And then I've got a bra that I'm wearing on the plane, and I'll show you my outfits later got a pair of flip-flops and then these like swimming things i got them in the philippines ages ago I'm not sure if i'll use them but if not i'll just throw them away um i've got um i forgot what are these are called microfiber towels so that would be good for quick drying and stuff um i've got this bag full of bikinis and so i think i've got three or four swimsuits in here no swimming bikinis on here in here and a swimming costume and i've got a pair, pair of pants and four socks one of which i will be wearing on the plane and i've got some like wipey things like reusable wipes to remove my face <laughs> i don't think i'll be wearing much makeup over there but just in case um, I do have a little portable here. I've got a bigger one in my bum bag, which I'll show you later. And I've got a brain cover. This is from North Face. I think it was like ten pounds. Um, I'll try and link things below uh, if I can <laughs> with the prices. Um, so if I go through my packing cubes first so in my tops and dresses box cube can't open it um i've got so i've got my going out dress which is just a like a black dress that i've got i think it's just from boohoo ages ago it costs like a tenner so it's just like a little black dress just for when going out somewhere nice or to party. <laughs> um, I've got a little tank top, tube tube top. Um, then I've got a more dressier top. This is my only dressy top, which is like this. Um, I'll try to show at the end how I match all my outfits because I've tried to make it so I can wear them, mix and match them. Um, then I've got like five vest tops, tank tops. Um, I've got one in red, white, grey, black, and a dark grey. I don't think I'm looking at the camera, but we move. And then I've got two t-shirts, a white and a black one, just from H&M, like white. I think they're inside out. Um, a black one 
And then I've got this merino wool top because I've heard good things about merino wool. And I do plan to go on some hikes and it's supposed to be good for sweat or keeping you cool. But I've just got this like three quarter sleeves just so I don't burn as well because I tan really easy. And then I've got three dresses which I feel like I can match with a lot of things. I've got this white one from Holster um, and it's got straps too. Um, and then I've got a black satin dress, it's just a cheap one, but I feel like I can dress that up and down. So I've got another night dress if I need to, but it's like a midi length one. And then I've got this day dress, um, and I feel like I can make that into top if I want to. So that's it for my dresses and my tops. And then for my shorts, for well, my bottoms. So I don't actually have pyjamas, I'm just gonna wear what I have as pyjamas and hope for the best. Um, so I've got one pair of bomb trousers. Um, I have got some like sporty leggings like from Fabletics. They're going in my little bag, so I can switch into them on the plane. Um, I've also got, so I've got two skorts. I've got a green one, some for Primarks, very creased. Um, and I've got this from ages ago. So I had a pair and I had to buy another pair on Depop because I really like them. Um, but these were from Miss Selfridge. Um, and it's a skort just because more convenient then I've got a pair of shorts from Tala I think they're inside out too um it's just the cycling shorts for when I want to go on hikes so I've got a pair of skirt it's a blue skirt zips at the back and I've got another pair of black shorts just flippy black shorts I do have black denim shorts, but I'm wearing them on the plane because I'm my heaviest item. And I've got a, I'll show you my plane outfit later, but I've got some other clothes there. So that's for my clothes. Um, bikinis, I don't know if, if I should show bikinis, but I've got a green pair, just like, like, um, a triangle green pair and I've got the same in orange and then I've got like a black bikini top that can also be worn and it's going out top if I need to it's just like that and I've got some black bottoms um I've got this like tie around swimsuit thing you tie it I don't know it's like a multi-way thing and then I've got high-waisted one for when you know, days where you just don't want to show your belly. <laughs> and then I've got another top, just a black top that I like to twist around. So that's it for my clothes, I think. And then for my little bag, so this is what I'm carrying on the plane, but it is a bit bigger. I did choose it because it's got one of those like water things where um like if you go on hikes you can bring a water supply thing and i can't do it but the straw pops out here you can see and so i thought that would be helpful um and it's got a cool thing where it's like insulated at the back so you can put your lunch in there don't know if i'll use that but yeah so in here i've got not very organized right now but it will be I've got my wires here I've got some more wires somewhere that I need to put in but I'm using them right now like my chargers and stuff my hairbrush with bubbles because spare bubbles I've got my GoPro thing my GoPro is charging but it will be in here but I might put it in my pocket just to save weight I'm not sure this is my makeup bag that I'm using and then this is my liquid one but I'll go over that in a minute. I'm bringing my straighteners just for when I feel like dolling up some days. I don't know how 
often I'll use them and I've got a friend who I'm traveling with and she's bringing um a little hair dryer and I think it's like double voltage so it should work nicely I've got my going out like a going out bag I've still got the tags on um but that's got like a spare wallet because I want to put like a different card in each wallet in case I lose one um and not much else in there right now but I will put some stuff in there I've got a little mirror um and then I do have somewhere but I can't find it right now like a little like medicine bag with just plasters and um paracetamol and like diarrhea tablets because I've got a really I get irritable bowels not not I guess but you know and then I've got my pills I've got like a year's supply of pills bringing that with me that's the contraceptive pills and what else is in my bag oh I've got my iPad um just to do all my stuff and watch watch things draw doodle on the way um hopefully it doesn't get stolen i do need to do an insurance for that i've just done my trial insurance today um got a glass case with two pairs of glasses i don't know whether to bring my eyeglasses because my eyes aren't that bad but i never really wear them so i feel like i don't need them but yes i've got like um a waterproofy thing I'm not sure if i'll use it but i'm just gonna bring it and i've got um a phone one as well which is here um and then i've got a head torch for you know when you're in your hostels and you just need a little headlamp i've got a travel adapter just from amazon and then i've got some wireless earphones um and then i've got this little bar soap case which i thought was really cool because it dries on the inside so if you put it in wet somehow magic dries it so i thought that was cool so i'll put my bar of soap and i've got this bar of like a shampoo conditioner bar so i'm putting that in there less liquid um oh my gopro is in here it's not charging charge that um and i've got two locks but i'll put them in my pockets and then lock up my bags after i think that's all that's in my bag um I do have my bum bag. There's not much in there. There's just my portable charger. I've just got a cheap one from Amazon, but it's like twenty six thousand eight hundred mega. What I don't know what it's measured in, but it's in that. Um, got my passport in here, and I put a pass. I've got a passport case thing where it's got like it holds cards and sims. So I thought that was pretty cool. Free sim cards. That you get over there um and then i've got my wallet my maiden wallet in here and i will put my phone in here and i think that's it i don't know if i'm shooting this in a different angle i did forget about what was in my toilet tree things um there's not actually much apart from that soap bag that I was on about earlier with my soap and my shampoo and conditioner but I've got face sun cream I'm buying sun cream there I know people say it's expensive but I think that's because they don't like the whitening agents and I don't mind it because I tan really fast so it kind of counteracts that for me um I've got the double wear um I say load of double wear makeup I don't know whether to decant it on a smaller container but we'll see got a really big perfume that I've never used but smells nice and I feel like this will last me the whole year or so um I've got mascara I do have two because one's waterproof and one's not I don't know if I should bring both and I've got the bug thing it's a roll-on one don't know if that's better I can always buy one there if it's not and then I've just got my Clinique moisture surge to moisturize my face that's it for my liquids um i don't know if i should be carrying more but i don't feel like i need anything um and then makeup wise i've got oh i do ha have lipsticks i need to put in here i want to carry two lipsticks um i've got my bronzer it's just the benefit one oops 
and then I've got two makeup brushes, like a found, I think it's foundation brush and a blush brush. Maybe I should get a small. I think I've got a smaller blush brush I could use instead of this. Um, got my blusher, it's just a cheap one. Um, got nail cutters. Got um. Got tweezers, my liquid eyeliner for when I want to look nice, um, an eyeliner pencil, and then I've got my eyebrow pencil. I do need my sharpener somewhere, I'll add that later. But I do have my eyebrows microbladed, so I feel like I don't sometimes I just don't really need makeup, um, but it feels nice sometimes. But we'll see how it goes. So that's it for my makeup and toiletries. Um, I will buy my toothpaste there. My friend does have a mini emergency one in case we need it. And then obviously my toothbrush. And yeah, um, I did forget to mention how much things weighed. Um, so my main bag um, is under seven kilograms right now. Um, I don't know whether I want to make it less in the next two days, but just for when I find things I want to buy there and take it with me, not sure. And my little bag is verging five kilograms, four or five kilograms. Oh, and that's with this bottle, my counting bottle. Um, but I feel like if I carry my iPad, they shouldn't really weigh it. So that will take about like half a kilogram off. Um, and then if I shove it in, like I've got like one of those gap bags where you can just, like it folds into itself, like tote bag. So I'm hoping to just fold it into that so they don't measure it and hopefully don't ask to weigh it. But we'll see how strict the airlines are and if I need to, I'll just have to pay, I guess. But yes. So there was just some stuff I forgot to mention in the other video that um quite important so um there's travel documents which you should bring with you um so i'm not sure if i'm 100 percent prepared but i brought some copies of my passport like a, a photocopy scanned copy of like my passport and id and i've got my friends one as well with me so we've got about four copies of those and we'll keep them in separate um places in our bags and stuff and then I've also got a copy of my travel insurance um just in case but I do have it as a pdf version um we did decide to go with true traveler and I feel like it seemed like the best option for us and I think it it's the cheapest option if you're like under the age of 40 and we wanted to also do um base camp in Nepal and um with world nomad which was also like a well-respected company it just added like i think an extra 300 pound each and we're trying to do this on a budget and we're just like mm. so we've decided to go with these and then i've also got my covid passes from the nhs like printouts with on that and um i'll like put them in um uh poly pocket like what is it called um a plastic wallet kind of thing just to keep them safe and i've also got um copies of my passport photo like copies of passport photos so i had one i already had four originally and then i took another 12 so that's 12 times i mean four times four so i've got 16 um passport photos and that's just for um if any well some of the countries I'm going to require visa requirements and they require passport photos so I need them um I've also got um, my prescription for my pills like my contraceptive pills I mentioned earlier just in case I get questioned for them and that's just like I just asked my um, GP if I could have a copy um just to be safe and I also got my I don't I mean this is just for my sake but it's just like a vaccine record of all the vaccines you've had to keep track of them. I do plan on getting the Japanese encephalitis one in Thailand just because it worked out cheaper because here it was like £90 a vaccine and all that. Mm. And I think it's very rare occurrence for it to happen. 
um I did get my um rabies jabs done just because I was worried like of getting bit in Thailand maybe because there's a lot of stray dogs there and also I got my um tetanus and hep A and B topped up I didn't manage to get the typhoid done because there was a shortage but if I can get that in Thailand that'll, that'll be fine if not I don't think it's a big issue um and then also travel cards wise I'm traveling with so I'm traveling with four cards so one's my credit card and I think I do need to double check I'll bring them tomorrow um, I've got like a zero credit card with Santander and I don't think there's any charges if I spend it worldwide correct me if I'm wrong um then I've also got um Revolut which cost me a fiver to get my card sent over to me and then um I did manage to get some free free money out of them so basically if you refer a friend you can get um 50 pounds back if that friend registers gets a card and does like three transactions worth like five pounds and this is not an ad but um yeah i managed to get i think three friends to sign up so i've got like if another i think two friends sign up i can get another 50 pounds well 100 pounds technically off them so i'll put my referral link below if any one of you decide to do that and then yeah you can refer your friends also and get 50 pounds of each friend that registers um and then i've also got my monzo card which i had beforehand um just because it worked with the eu stuff and i think the so the withdrawal fees for both revolut and monzo is like 200 pounds a month um which isn't a lot but it real helps and like spending with the cards like on card purchases are free like no transaction fees um and then i've also got my sterling card and that's um i think unlimited withdrawals um i'll correct myself on the video if i'm wrong um so i got one of them as well so that's um four cards i'm taking with me and then I don't really think I'm taking cash, although I've got some spare dollars that I've had from the times I've been to America. So I might just bring that with me to, if I need to translate it to any other currency. Um, and then I did also speak about um, the pros and cons of my backpack. So basically, I originally started with the the OG <laughs> Fairview 40 from Osprey and it was just like the the black one because I thought it'd be the best kind of colour and if I compare it with this one the only things that are really different is so in the front compartment as you can see there's no there used to be like an extra compartment here like a zip where you could put your laptop in and then it's like an extra like organization space for you and then they've both got this like mesh bit here i think there was more of the mesh section here in the original one and um, so that's a bit less now and then a new one which i'm not a fan of they've got this um like a flap and i'm not sure why they decided to do a flap um for your laptop if you want to put it at the back which a lot of people were moaning about apparently i did read a lot of like posts about it how the, the they didn't like the laptop being in the front compartment because it should be in the back so it's like heavy heavy loading um but yeah so they've got this flap here and it's okay i guess if you did want to travel with a laptop which i'm not doing but it's not detachable so it's just adding extra weight to my bag which i could do without because it's so hard trying to pack seven kilograms in this bag when the bag itself weighs like one and a half kilograms um so that's a bit of an issue and I do wish there was some like zips in the sides. Like I've heard the 
I think the Fairview 55 or Fairpoint for Farpoint 55 comes with like zip separations like on the side of the panels which would be great if they also included that in the the 40 litre version but they don't um so that's my only issue but it's not a big downside and like I said at the beginning I did choose the backpack mainly for the colour big burgundy fan and I just feel like yeah I like it <laughs> And it does the other changes the downsides don't affect me that much so it's okay um but yeah i need to <laughs> repack my bag now because i'm leaving tomorrow <laughs> so i've just realized that i probably won't have the time to do my lookbook before i go but i will definitely try to do it whilst i'm out there um so you won't be getting that in this video i hope you've enjoyed this video and um i hope you find it helpful i hope to post more content like this whilst i'm traveling away the next year or so with my my friend and um yeah please like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye